Toothaches and what causes sensitive teeth? A toothache is a pain in or around a tooth that may be caused by tooth decay, abscess, tooth, tooth fracture, a damaged filling, repetitive motions, such as chewing gum or grinding teeth. Infected gum symptoms of a toothache may include tooth pain that may be sharp, throbbing, or constant. In some people, pain results only when pressure is applied to the tooth. Swelling around the tooth fever or headache foul tasting drainage from the infected tooth When should I see a dentist about a toothache? See your dentist as soon as possible about your toothache If you have a toothache that lasts longer than one or two days Your toothache is severe You have a fever, earache, or pain upon opening your mouth Wide proper identification and treatment of dental infections is important to prevent its spread to other parts of the face and skull and possibly even to the bloodstream. What happens when I go to the dentist for a toothache? To treat your toothache, your dentist will first obtain your medical history and conduct a physical exam. They will ask you questions about the pain, such as when the pain started, how severe it is, where the pain is located, what makes the pain worse, and what makes it better. Your dentist will examine your mouth, teeth, gums, jaws, tongue, throat, sinuses, ears, nose, and neck. X-rays may be taken as well as other tests, depending on what your dentist suspects is causing your toothache. What treatments are available for a toothache? Treatment for a toothache depends on the cause. If a cavity is causing the toothache, your dentist will fill the cavity or possibly extract the tooth, if necessary. A root canal might be needed if the cause of the toothache is determined to be an infection of the tooth's nerve. Bacteria that have worked their way into the inner aspects of the tooth cause such an infection. An antibiotic may be prescribed if there is fever or swelling of the jaw. How can toothaches be prevented? Since most toothaches are the result of tooth decay, following good oral hygiene practices can prevent toothaches. Good oral hygiene practices consist of brushing regularly with a fluoride-containing toothpaste, flossing once daily, rinsing once or twice a day with an antiseptic mouthwash, and seeing your dentist twice a year for professional cleaning. In addition to these practices, eat foods low in sugar and ask your dentist about sealants and fluoride applications. What causes sensitive teeth too much mouthwash love minty fresh breath? If you swig mouthwash throughout the day, you may set yourself up for a sore mouth. That's because some products have acids that make already sensitive teeth worse. The solution, limit rinsing to once or twice a day. If you're still sensitive, ask your dentist about neutral fluoride rinses or those that lower sensitivity, and what ingredients to avoid. Eating acidic foods can't get enough tomatoes, citrus, fruit juices, and other goodies that make your mouth water? Your teeth can. Enjoy too many acid-rich foods and drinks and you could erode the outer covering of your teeth, called enamel, and expose the tender layer beneath, called dentin. Don't want to give up these tart favorites? Cut the acid with a piece of cheese or glass of milk after reading. Receding gums The roots of your teeth have thousands of tiny tubes that carry feeling, hot, cold, sweet, to a nerve center known as the pulp. Usually the roots are covered by gum tissue. But if you have periodontal disease, that layer can pull away from teeth, exposing the ultra-sensitive root. Receding gums need a dentist's help, so talk to yours. Brushing your teeth too hard If you brush too hard or don't use a soft brush, your gums can pull away from tooth roots. This can also wear away your enamel and expose dentin, yellow. Holes in the dentin are the tiny tubes, blue, that allow hot, cold, and sweet foods to affect tooth nerves. Ouch! Recent dental work it hardly seems fair, but sometimes keeping your pearly whites in good shape with regular visits to the dentist can work against you. Teeth cleanings, replacement grounds, tooth restorations, and root planning can all lead to some short-term tooth sensitivity. If you're worried about this before a procedure, or if it continues after your visit, talk to your dentist. Tooth decay decay, like this cavity, exposes the root of your tooth to a host of irritants, hot, cold, sweets, even air. The best ways to battle decay and keep your teeth in top form are to practice good oral hygiene, eat right, and see your dentist regularly.
be good to your mouth you don't have to go it alone, talk to your dentist to find out what's behind your sensitive teeth. To strengthen your pearly whites, you may need to make a few more changes to your oral care routine. You could switch to a soft bristled brush, use a toothpaste for sensitive teeth, or try a mouth rinse with fluoride.